think that's going to be an experience that we have to do in Germany. I know in the past, I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm ready to do that. I'm ready to do that. I was like, I'm not doing that. But, you know, just thinking of it and just realizing, like, hey, we, we've we driven in those cars before, but you can't, like, go that speed. Here. I ain't going to say the highs I ever went, but no, it wasn't no auto band speed. Gonna I can that. tell you that. Mm -mm. We ain't going to incriminate ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's the Doom Machettes React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today, we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Jamaica is a small country in the Caribbean with just about 3 million people. Jamaica is known for, for example, its beaches, its music, for example, Bob Marley, athletes, Usain Bolt, Asafa Powell, and so on. And come on, lovely beaches, good weather all year round, and just a culture that is so welcoming and open. In fact, Jamaica is also known as a land of wood and water. Leaving all of that behind to come to a country like Germany, you can expect that there would be quite a lot of culture shocks. It was also shocking for a lot of Europeans that I decided to leave my home in Jamaica to come to Europe. Let's get into the culture shocks. The first thing, the weather. Now when I moved to Germany, I was surprised for a good two, three weeks because I didn't see the sun, I didn't see any blue skies and for me I was going crazy because I was like, <laughs> how can people actually live like this? In comparison to Jamaica, sun is shining pretty much all year round. Eventually, the sun came out. And then something also happened where the people started coming out. People were just mm. in the park, just lying down, sunbathing. And I was shocked again because, come on, back in Jamaica, we are always finding ways to avoid the sun. When the sun comes out, that means it's time for us to go inside. German bureaucracy. Now, Germany is probably one of the places that is known for paperwork, paperwork nonstop. For example, when you move to a new city here, then you have to register, okay, this is my address, this is where I'm living. And so what that means is that this city can actually tell you how many people are living in the city at right. any point. And that kind of blew my mind because I had never ever heard of anything like that before. And I've also recognized that a stamp is important. It's like you can have a document, but it's like if it's not stamped, then somehow it's not as valid. You have to go through all these different hoops and stuff to get things done, but the system works, so... Hmm. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Um, just moving one state over in the United States, we were in a culture shock with the sun. Yeah. Because the sun is always out here, but we were used to clouds and we were used to rain and fog. Yes. Like lots of fog. Yes. Where we where we are, it's not. No fog. Sometimes you don't nah. see a cloud at all. At all. For weeks. For weeks. And the air sometimes can come up as like really, really, really dry. Oh. And man, it's because, oof, Lord. But yeah. Yeah. That's so how it we, is, we can definitely, you know, identify with wanting the sun. What is wrong with these people? Mm -hmm. How can y'all live here? Mm -hmm. uh, we can identify with that. But having a stamp for every piece of paper, that's different. Because usually when we get paperwork done, it'll have a letterhead on it and, you know, a yeah. written. A signature and that would qualify for anything, but you need a stamp. Yeah, stamps cost too, right? I don't know. Y'all would have to let us know. Yeah, do that. Mm. Germany's healthcare system is quite renowned. You have to have health insurance in this country. I mean, it's not like other countries where you it's a choice. Here, it's like you live here. You need to have health insurance from my experience it's not even that expensive for you to even like go to the doctor or to get different types of treatment because a lot of these things are actually covered by your insurance when i was in jamaica one of the things i complained the most about was the transportation system there i mean even like the buses in the city that are supposed to have a schedule usually they don't follow the schedule they just kind of come whenever they want to come and then the regional buses there it's like you sit in the bus and you don't leave until the bus is like completely full mm. and coming to germany it was like mind-blowing oh, there came a point off. where i was like freaking out when the buses were like one minute or two minutes late and i'm like 
where are the buses? Why are these buses late? In those moments, I thought to myself, but Oshando, back in Jamaica, you were waiting for a bus for like 30 minutes. It's quite typical to just step on a bus or just step on a train in Germany. And you don't necessarily need to show your ticket like to the driver or to like any conductor or anything like that. Of course, on these trains, sometimes you have like spot checks where a conductor goes through and he checks the tickets. Okay. Amazing thing about that is I find that people follow these rules. They buy their tickets, mm -hmm. even though pretty much Sometimes you can take a train and it's guaranteed that there won't be any conductors on it. And for me, I just find that so amazing that, you know, the social responsibility here where people don't just follow the rules because they have to, but because they recognize the importance of following it. Mm. For me, what was also exciting as well was that I could actually sit on a train and just go to another European country as well. Oh, yeah. Living on an so, island, yeah. I mean, as where well. else can I go? But here it's like just it's crazy just how connected Europe is mm -hmm. where it's like you can literally sit on a train from one part of Europe to go to the other side. Another thing that was really surprising for me was the mobile data in Germany. It's like typically I'm sitting on a train and then my phone just starts roaming on some network. Better believe that when you go to certain places, the only thing that you're going to get there is like edge. Sometimes maybe no network at all, which was like kind of blew my mind actually. Now, Germany is also quite popular for its autobahn. And on the autobahn, on different sections of it, you can actually drive at whatever speed you want to drive. Well, and for me, that was also quite a thrilling experience because just being there, sitting there and hitting like those top speeds and even seeing people like just going even faster than oh, you, it's like, crazy. it was such an amazing experience. A lot of these cars, like the Mercedes... I will feel like I'm in a rally race or something. You gotta get used to that first. You do have to get used like, to that. Like, how you get used to that? Do you just get on there and you start going fast and wear up to the gentleman behind you that's going even faster? Like, do you have to just slow your pace and get out of the way and then get back in your lane or, like, how that works? Right. And I would really like to know that because here... Buying a car that is like goes at a top speed fast. Yeah, speed, you gotta ask me. It's you like I, I ask myself where are they driving other than the highway? Because here the speed limits on the highway is what, seventy five? Seventy five, eighty. Yeah, but like if they buy it and they're living in the city, where are you driving this car? Yeah, I mean, when you look at the meter and everything, it shows you how fast you can go, but we never go that fast. Like, we don't get that yeah. option to do that. Yeah, but especially here, in city limits. Yeah, especially, but here in Germany, you can definitely do that. And it's yeah. like, we don't practice that speed, so we don't know the, like, the, the how can I put it into words? Um, I don't know. It's like, it's pacing yourself through each speed. Like, when mm -hmm. we do 80, we know how to slow down on 80. Right, But right. if you're doing 140, 160... Like that slowing down part can get yeah. a little tricky for you because you're not familiar with the with the pedal and the speed and all that. So yeah. and coming down off of that speed, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's gonna be an experience that we have to do in Germany. I know in the past I was like, I'm, down, not I'm doing ready, doing ready to do that. Oh, I'm ready to do that. I was like, I'm not doing that. But you know, just thinking of it and just realizing, like, hey, we we've driven in those cars before, but you can't like go that speed here. I ain't gonna say the highs I ever went, but no, it wasn't no auto band speed, I can tell you that. Mm -mm. We ain't gonna incriminate ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Indies and the Audi and all of those different things, like back in Jamaica or even other countries where people consider them to be luxury cars, it's like you see some of these cars as taxis in Germany. The cars are built here, so that's why that's it's possible, crazy. but still, I'm sitting in a taxi and it's an Audi. Sundays in Germany. Everything closed, On right? a Sunday, it's like nothing happens in this country. It's like everything shuts down. Yeah, yeah people just kind of stay home or they might go outside for a walk or go for a bicycle tour or something like that. Like the shops are closed. The only thing that might be open would be, for example, like the bakeries and the restaurants. It's even crazier when a holiday is coming up, especially for the long holiday weekends in Germany. It's like you go to the supermarket and you're guaranteed to see that a few shelves are empty. Because I don't know, it's like the attitude towards holidays is like, okay, prepare and get as much as you can because the world is ending i don't know now another thing about sundays and public holidays here is that there are even laws that actually tell you what you're allowed to do on these particular days but even cutting your lawn on a sunday not allowed also trucks that transport certain goods are also not allowed to drive on the highways on sundays mm. moving goods across that the country i would think is something that should be a priority for every single day but interestingly it isn't Something that I found really surprising about Germany is that Germany is really big on cash. 
in comparison to other European countries, paying with cards sometimes is not really as popular as it should be. Because you go to, for example, especially the smaller shops and stuff, and you want to pay with card, you're like, Gotta sorry, we don't accept cash. And this especially gets worse if you go into like really small towns and stuff. It's like there the options to pay with card are gonna be very, very low. One of the most positive culture shocks about Germany is like the attitude towards education. Back in Jamaica, it's like the attitude towards education is most times like it's a business. Like how much money can we actually get from our students? So let's kick up those tuition fees, let's add a few fees and stuff. But here it's like somewhat different where it's like, mm. it's more or less your right to education. That's just really amazing that you know you can come from another country and you can be studying here and pretty much you're paying the same amount of money as other people that live here. Something that I recognize also in the university is like at the end of a presentation, instead of clapping, the custom is actually to knock on the desk. Um, oh wow. Yeah, why knocking? Why not just simply clap? But you know, you get with it, it works, why not? What was surprising for me when I went to the supermarket for the first time and I wanted to like buy chicken for example I recognize that the cost like for chicken in comparison to like other kinds of meat Let's say like for example pork or beef Oftentimes is like way more expensive than those things another thing about supermarkets here is that you better Why y'all? Cuz baby the meat is more expensive. Yeah, chicken is more expensive than beef Oh, okay. Cause, cause maybe here you know, and I know this is Jamaica versus Germany, but this is an American reaction. Yeah. Here, chicken is the cheapest meat. Mm. That's why my grandmother say you need to know how to cook a chicken a hundred ways. Yeah, check the pounds and see what they're serving. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can uh, get a certain amount that way. Mm -hmm. But that's different. That's different. That's a culture shock. Let us know why. Why is it so expensive? Y'all don't have a lot of chickens. Yeah, I would say they got a lot of chickens. Okay, let us know bring your own bag. If you don't have your own bag, Thanks. then you have to buy a bag from them. Now, yeah, that kind of like blew my mind way. because back in Jamaica, you go to a supermarket, you go to a store, they're gonna give you the bags to put the stuff in, and especially supermarkets, they even put the things in the bag for you. In Germany, no. You're gonna pack your own bag or you're gonna put the things back into the trolley and then you can take that to your car. At most supermarkets here, probably even all supermarkets here, you'll actually see that they have a machine there that you can actually return, for example, plastic bottles and glass bottles and even cans and stuff. When you're on your way to the supermarket, you can just take your bottles with you, return them, and you get your money back and you can use that money also like to pay for your goods. The first time I had like German bread, I was like, yeah, what have I been eating all this time? <laughs> when I compare like German bread to what we have, what we call bread in Jamaica, sometimes it's kind of like paper in comparison really? to something that's, you know, that's really wild. loaded and really healthy and all that stuff. It's so like, it's, Germany got that bread, man. <laughs> it's a completely Hold different up. world. Hey, I like, mentioned that in the last video. I didn't know the comparison is going to be that like distinctive though from Jamaica. But I hear what I said earlier, like if we want to know, person, if I want to know the levels of bread that I can be trying out, I'm going to just look to Germany and see what they got going on. Right, but I am surprised to hear a Jamaican talk about food and says another place have better food than them. I'm surprised. Germany's has a top value the bread. when it comes to bread. It's okay. like bread markets everywhere. So it's okay. like, bread. you know what I'm saying? He got probably a whole different variety of bread he never had before. Okay. All right. I'll Big give that a shock. pass. But that would, that's a culture shock here in the Jamaican say that another place have better food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. That's because Jamaican shock. food is <laughs> really good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like surprised with the different variety of breads, the different tastes that they have and it's crazy. What I love most of all is just like walking by these bakeries and just actually smelling yeah, all I mean, that true. wonderful it's aroma of the good. bread baking. Yeah, it's awesome. When I was registering at the university, they gave us like a folder with different things and different information that we would need. I was surprised, first of all, a booklet, like multiple pages, and then like sk skipping through these pages, bins for like recyclables and paper and all that stuff. Every single item that you can think about, you can pretty much find it on their website or even in some of these magazines, and they tell you which bins these things are supposed to actually go into. Like, come on. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the culture shocks that I experienced when I moved to Germany, and even some of them that actually... Oh, yeah, we're going to stop it right there, man. Definitely some different ones, especially mm -hmm. with the two in comparisons. I didn't even see this type of video coming. You got to send right. this one in. And again, I think that was a dope experience that he had. Yeah, Big culture positive. shocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
this was a cool video. We hope you guys enjoyed it with us. Facts, like facts. this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace.